ProLin PLN. Hello, my name is Kyle Bentley. I'm an application engineer with ProLin PLN. In today's Snack Bite video, we're going to be looking at the introduction to NXCMM. So first and foremost, what is NXCMM? CMM stands for Coordinate Measuring Machine. So inside of NX, we can program our CMM machines directly in the NX uh, CMM environment. In this environment, we can then create our inspection programs directly from the 3D CAD model. Inside this environment, we then automate our inspection programs and reduce the inspection programming time by 80% using the NX integrated tools such as Link to PMI. After we have our program fully developed and simulated inside of the NX CMM environment, we can then post process the inspection program directly from NX CMM. So let's go ahead and look at a demonstration of the NX CMM environment. So I'll go ahead here and open up a part. In this part file, I have some PMI that's already authored on this part file with some associated objects. So with the part file open, I'll go ahead and start a new template. In these templates, I have some SIM kits already built. So I'll go ahead here and run my chef field template. And then it will pull in my housing part into my SIM kit template. So notice when I start my new template in here, it pulls me directly into the NX inspection environment, just like the NX cam environment. We have our tools to develop our NX inspection programs inside of the inspection uh, environment. So in this template, we have the uh, machine view and we have the method view. Okay, just like in CAM, it's very similar in that case. And here I have a tool rack on my template. So I have three probes in here. In here, they're all the same number. I can locally define it or I can have it inherited for when I pull in different parts. So on these probes, I'll go ahead and specify the tool numbers. On the method view, this is where you'll specify the best practice for how you want to inspect those certain features. Where you're going to be spending most of your time is in the program order view. In this template, I have some things already saved for when I create new templates. I have a part alignment um, with some teach points and the teach point path. If you don't have these features, you could use the part alignment assistant. In here, we could go ahead and specify a teach point. And before we do that, you'll notice our part is not aligned or positioned just yet. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and position a fixture. So I'll go ahead here and pull in my fixture at the absolute origin. And then we can use any assembly method, such as move component or assembly constraints, to position our part. So I'll go ahead and touch align the bottom of the part to the top of my fixture. So notice the part is not fully positioned yet, so I'll go ahead here and use the move component to rotate that part around. With the part fully positioned now, we can go ahead here and specify our part alignment. So now I'll go ahead and edit my teach point and specify the point. With that specified, I can then generate my part alignment. Notice in here, my alignment is then specified since I have it saved in my template. Now with the part alignment specified, we can then use the feature link to PMI since I have PMI authored on my part. With just a click of a button, I can then specify the inspection paths, the features, and tolerances with just a click of a button in a few seconds. So I'll go to link to PMI here. I'm going to create the paths and then select the component with the PMI authored on it. Once that runs, it'll tell us that the PMI has been successfully linked. So I can go ahead and close this and then generate my program. 
in here you'll see the features that are associated with the PMI that it creates. And then below that you'll see the associated inspection paths based on those methods or features. Okay. So in here we have our inspection paths, our features, and our alignment already created. Before we simulate it, let's go ahead and look at the collision avoidance. So I can go ahead and select my program and do a collision avoidance just to check for collisions. I can then specify a safe plane. For more in-depth features on the link to PMI and collision avoidance, please see our later videos. So on this collision avoidance for the safe plane, I'm going to go ahead and select the top of my part and then specify it 50 millimeters above the part for the safe plane. Once I go ahead and press OK, it'll optimize my paths. It'll insert some transition points to that safe plane. Okay, with my program already created in here, I'll go ahead and select the uh, top of the program and then select the simulation. In here we have some simulation settings. We can turn on the collision detection. We can specify some pairs if we don't already have it specified in our template. In my template I have the tool and the part specified as well as the fixture. Since I have that specified, I can then go ahead and run the simulation to verify there are no collisions and then post it out. So notice there are no collisions. We can then run through the simulation to verify our inspection paths. Once the inspection has completed, we can then right click on our top level of our program and then post process it. We can post process to a standard DEMIS, to machine specific, or we can specify it to a certain software such as PC Demos or M Cosmos. So I can specify it as a PC Demos and then press OK. And then it will create my post directly from NXCMM. So that is how we can quickly create inspection paths, features, and tolerances with just a couple clicks inside of the NXCMM environment. ProLin PLM.